Are you, you got your robes today? I've always wanted to wear robes. Do you have to wear anything underneath those? Or I'm just wondering. I'm just I'm just asking. It's optional. So it's option. So what I heard is clothing is optional in the Lutheran Church. That's what I heard. Episcopal. Okay, Episcopal. Sorry, Episcopal. Okay, so um, here's the deal. I'm a I'm a Bible teacher. All I want to do today is give y'all one verse that has impacted me. I normally what I do is I'll start in the beginning of a book and I'll, I'll walk it through the end. But I have such a hunger for people to get the continuity of what the Word says. I can't do topics because I don't trust myself because I would speak about stuff I'd want to all the time. But uh, I have one verse I'm going to share with you in a little bit. Uh, it's Galatians 2.20 if you have your Bible you can turn there. Powerful verse. I'll tell you a story about the verse. One of the guys I'm discipling right now he uh, became a Christian this past February. His name's Mike. I call him Mikey. Nineteen. He came to my office and he said, um, he didn't know me. He'd heard me speak a few times and the Holy Spirit moved him. And he came in and he said, I, I just got so much pain and hurt on my heart. I want to do something about it. I said, bro, you need Jesus. I mean, it's just that simple. He said, okay, what do I do? I said, well, Let's talk a little bit about what Scripture says first. And I don't take people to, to verses that just say, if you know Jesus, then you're a Christian. Because if you read John 3.16 when it says, For God so loved the world, He gave His only begotten Son. That whosoever believes in Him, the belief is not enough. Belief in Greek means what, y'all? Scholars. It means to submit to. You know, if, if, if I say that I submit to the covenant of marriage, but you see me flirting with other women... I'm not submitted to the covenant. If people in the church believe that it just means, yeah, I believe in Jesus, I'm a Christian, they're mistaken. It means to submit to, to turn yourself over to. So I don't use John 3.16, though I love it. I use Luke 9, where it says, if you want to follow me, you pick up your cross. And you give up everything that you desire for what I desire. It's a paraphrase, but that's what the Scripture says. And when you share that with some people, they go, Oh, it means, it means everything? Yeah, it means 100% of everything. You pick up your cross and you follow me. So I shared this with this kid who was a dealer. He'd been slinging weed on the street for a while. And uh, he was like, okay. And he became a Christian right there in my office. And uh, Mikey, Mikey stopped selling drugs, came in, was at the church when the doors were open. And uh, what's so cool, I call people who've been in church all their life churchies. Most of us are churchies. I'm a churchy. Elizabeth Ware and I met before we were born in church. Our parents went to college together. That's our culture, okay? We know church. Uh, but Mike's not from church. So he would come in and his language was rather salty. And he would be like, you know, that was a blankety-blank great sermon, Tom. I really blankety enjoyed that. I'm like, well, praise God, Mike. That's good. You know? That's good. So Mike, one weekend, he had a, he had a little free time as he was 19, and uh, 